What's up guys, this is your boy Gavachki Manan here over here back with another video for Injustice 2 Mobile and in this video we are gonna try out something completely different and interesting and this is using Martian Manhunter with Heartbreaker Harley Quinn and Brainiac a team probably none of the YouTubers uses and uh, it's not gonna do a lot of damage also guys uh, keep in mind it's not gonna do a lot of damage but this is a fun pip and also what I'm having on Martian Manhunter is the Claw of Horus and the reason for having that is it's gonna be able to stun the opponent with a swipe attack and Martian Manhunter before the you know coming of Blue Beetle the legendary Blue Beetle it was the best combo builder in the game it could hit five hits so that's something that we are gonna test here as well so the strategy is simple the Brainiac is there so it's gonna stack up the lethal attack chance as well as the lethal damage basically so once that is complete then every hit is gonna be a lethal hit and reason why heartbreaker harley quinn is there in the team it's it's gonna increase the damage by 300 percent whenever it's against a stunned opponent and that's the reason why we have heartbreaker harley quinn in the team so now why do we have Martian Manhunter in the team? We have Martian Manhunter in the team because it can do 5 hits like I mentioned with the fast attack and once it's cornered, once the opponent is basically cornered, it can actually do an infinite combo as well. So we are gonna do that and the level of artifacts that I have over here is a level 9 Puppet of Zatanna on Brainiac and a level 5 Puppet of Zatanna on Heartbreaker Harlequin and a level 10 full-fledged level 10 Claw of Horus on Martian Manhunter. So here we are stacking up the lethal, uh, you know, lethal damage here and as you can see here we are able to do 5 hits and we can start doing the infinite combo as well and we're getting some decent amount of damage with the basic hits. We are able to do close to let's see we are able to do close to 500k hit and keep in mind this is while the damage increase buff is kind of implemented through the puppet of zatanna because of brainiac special so once this damage buff that you can see over here goes off it's gonna actually reduce the damage but still like this is just a fun pip this is not main damage dealing pip so definitely a fun thing to try out uh, possibly would have done more damage you know with the twin blade or even you know uh like uh if you if 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 i equip the dark metal cards artifact as well so i think the other artifacts which are you know better artifacts than the claw of horrors would have helped to do more damage but that's not the purpose here the purpose is to have fun and see like what we are able to do here and there we go uh, again cornered almost cornered here and we can do the infinite combo and let's look at the damage that we are able to inflict right now we are getting 600k in few of the swipes and uh, overall we are doing some decent amount of damage not huge amount of damage but uh, decent this suffices is what i would believe i wish you know brainiac's passive actually transferred to other gold characters as well then justice league cyborg would have been an interesting choice for this particular team but it is what it is guys at the end of the day so we are almost finishing off the battle here i didn't think i would do a lot of damage and as expected it's not a lot of damage but a fun pip to play uh, and thanks for watching this video guys hit the like button hit the subscribe button if you haven't done already so boy the average game and i get over here signing off bye bye